this might be a pro actually maybe I should go it, so okay here's what I'm going to do even if I haven't fried the fries from this specific restaurant I'm going to rate it based on the type of fry Burger King I mean I've had Burger King fries but it's been so long that I don't even know I don't even remember what they taste like. But based on what I'm looking at here, I think that I think they're like average. The crinkle cut fries. They're they're okay. I think it depends on the seasoning that's put on these fries. That's like where the, the determination is made. I mean, I just got to put it at C because it looks average. It doesn't look like there's any seasoning on there. Bojangles. I, I, I think I've tried their fries before, but it's like I said, with the Burger King, it's been so long. Don't remember. <laughs> That's going to be a lot of these, to be honest. They look, they look pretty good, to be honest. Like it looks like they're kind of crispy. And it looks like they have a little bit of seasoning on them. Just from appearances, it looks pretty good. But because I haven't, I have no recollection of them. I got to put it in C. A and W once again haven't haven't had them. Culver's fries taste like frozen store bought fries, in my opinion. I've no, I've never tried them before. A and W haven't tried them. They look like pretty standard fries. So they're going there. Arby's regular fries. I don't think I've tried their regular fries. So I'm going to put them there. I'm going to put like all the ones that I think look fine. Just like average fries and C, even if I haven't tried them before. White Castle. I, I, I'm i pretty sure I've tried White Castle and I didn't like them. I just I didn't like anything about White Castle, to be honest. Port, Port, Portolos? I've never heard of this place before. This must be outside of the U.S., I don't know. They, they look like your average run of the mill crinkle fry. Nothing, nothing to write home about. Arby's curly fries, however, I don't know if I'd put them at God tier, but A tier definitely. You know, it's it's not something that is so good that I have to go to Arby's to have. I I actually have no idea when the last time I ate at Arby's was. I've never. I think I've only ever ate at Arby's when someone else wanted to, and then I would only get the fries. So that should say something about Arby's fries. Dairy Queen, trash fries. Dairy Queen has terrible French fries. They are awful. Steak and Shake, I used to like their fries, but I think they're also awful now. Completely garbage. The, the little thin fries... Especially because they don't put any seasoning on them. It tastes incredibly bland. It's an incredibly unenjoyable experience. They're an Illinois chain, the Portillos. Never been to Illinois. Haven't even thought about Illinois for years. So that's probably why. Jack in the Box, haven't tried them. They look like they look just like average fries. Pin Station. I like the the crispiness at the top there. That looks pretty good. But because I've never tried them, I got to put them in C. What is this? Hardee's or uh, what's the other one? Carl's Jr.'s. Never tried. They, it looks pretty much like the curly fries from Arby's. Maybe a little bit crispier. They look good. Crystal, I don't think I've tried them. So I'm just going to put them at C because they, they look fine. Checkers and O'Reilly's. <laughs> I was kidding. rallies. I was thinking of O'Reilly's Auto Shop for some reason. They look fine, so now I haven't tried them, so I'm putting it in C. Same thing here with the Taco. Honestly, though, I I can't imagine that the Taco Bell fries are that good. Like it's Taco Bell. It can't be that good. Like there, it's a Mexican fast food restaurant fries are not really what you're going there for 
Or at least that's not why I'm going to Taco Bell. Honestly, just for concept alone, I'm putting it in trash, even though I've never tried it before. Lion's Choice. Also, I've I've never heard of this place before. They kind of look like the Steak and Shake fries, though, which makes me kind of want to put them in trash. Church's chick, uh, uh, chicken, is that what it is? I've, I've also never tried this place. Honestly, I don't, I don't like how thick they are. I'm putting them in trash. Applebee's. This looks like the standard restaurant quality, but like still pretty crappy fries. Or it's like, if you douse enough salt on it, it's fine. So I'll put it in C for average. What what is this? Bandanas? Is that what it says? I'm gonna do inspect element. ID twenty. You are that's useless to me. I don't know what twenty is. Bandanas? Is that Bahamas? I have no idea. I can't even read your your logo, man. Just for that, I'm putting you in trash tier. Get a better a, a logo that can be red. Increase your brand recognition. I don't even know who you are. Bob Evans? Isn't that a breakfast chain? Like, I can't really imagine that Bob Evans would produce a good French fry. They look like the standard restaurant fry, but I'm putting them in trash just because it's Bob Evans. Buffalo Wild Wings. Honestly, I I feel like Buffalo Wild Wings would have good fries. I haven't tried it's just like 90% of this list is I just haven't tried them. You know what? I should just go. I'm going to go based on look from here on out. I'm I'm just looking at them. Here, let's, let's reassign these. Based on looks. Bojangles. I've, okay, here we go. Churches look like mealworms in that picture. Yeah, it looks pretty bad. Buffalo Wild Wings, you can stick there. Okay, let's just go through. Culver's, that's, that looks fine. A&W, it's fine. Arby's, I think I got to put you in D just because you're not the curly fries. Portolo's, actually, I'm, now that I'm getting another look at this, I think this goes to D. Wait, which, wait, no. Jack in the Box goes to D. Culver's, just on looks alone, go to D. Penn Station fries look good based on this picture. I might even put it in A. Yeah, I'm doing it. D- because they're curly fries and they look exactly like Arby's, that's going to A. Crystal. I like the, you know, the the shading on that. Really nice work. Really beautiful. <laughs> beautiful texturing. Portillo's fries are mid. Also, how do you say it? Is it por- do you pronounce the two L's like a Spanish, like Portillo's? Or is it Portillo's or Portillo's? I have no idea. They're just like any other fry ever. They look pretty bad. Or they, I mean, they, they don't look bad. They just look like average. They don't look like anything special. Checkers and Rally's fries. Portillo's. Okay. These look really good. Lion's Choice, pretty pretty good. Applebee's looks not that good. I'm not appetized by it. Port Illos. Port Illos. Port Illos. Port Illos. Okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, yeah. These A&W ones look bad. Those look... Actually, those look like trash. All right. So, moving on. Captain D's. These look pretty average. They look like, you know, if you got them, you'd be satisfied. You'd be like, yeah, okay, cool. Charlie's. These look like the average restaurant fry, but maybe like, maybe slightly better, but not enough to put you in B. Honestly, I don't know who you are, but you, these look great. Just because, I think it's because of the basket. The basket sold me. If you're if you're getting fries in a basket that looks like this, you know you're in for a treat. You know it's gonna be good. Chilies. Honestly, these fries aren't aren't very well photographed. I can't really get a good look on them. But because it's chilies, 
I, the fries doesn't really seem like it would be their specialty, you know? It's it's chilies. It's like, I gotta put you in D. Just because I'm not expecting much. Chuck's Hot Chicken. I'm getting more logo than fry in the picture. Like I can't, I can't really make a good judgment call here. I, I kind of... I'm just going to put you in trash because I don't even know what you look like. It's just... I'm just looking at a logo right now. Cracker Barrel? I, I mean, I've I've eaten at Cracker Barrel plenty of times, but I don't think I've ever tried their French fries. I can't imagine they're that good, but I also don't think they would be that bad. Chili's fries are definitely detour. Okay, good to know. I put them in the right spot. Denny's? I feel like Denny's can cannot have good fries. Five Guys? Five Guys, pretty good fries. I will give them that. I, I do agree. The grease is always a little bit too much on the fries. Which is why I think I, I can't put it in God tier. It, it doesn't make me sick, but it I can recognize it. It's, it's a little bit too much. Freddy's, it, it's kind of looking like the, the steak and shake fries to me, which is is kind of an automatic trash. Carl's Jr. or Hardee's, whatever. It, it looks like pretty substandard fries. Nothing that you should be excited for. IHOP, another breakfast chain, putting their hands in the American staple of fries. Everyone's got to do it, apparently. I got to say, these don't look half bad but not good enough to make me want to go to the store and try it or the restaurant. I should say in and out burger. Haven't tried it. Honestly, they look pretty good. I, I especially like the basket. The presentation here is, you know, it, it matters a lot to me here and the presentation, the basket. I feel like I'm in for a good time looking at that basket. It was this Kentucky fried chicken. I feel like Kentucky Fried Chicken could make pretty good fries. That's my guess. I'm put, I'm putting them up high. Long John Silver's. I've never gotten a good vibe from this restaurant, so I'm putting them in D. Longhorn. Now I've I've had their fries. Their fries are okay. Nothing to really write home about. So I got I gotta put them in. I gotta put them in C. Honestly, I wanna put I'm gonna put in and out up a, a tier just on looks. Olive Garden. It's been a while. Olive I don't no, I don't think I've ever gotten fries at Olive Garden. What the hell would you even order to get fries at or as a side with, with your meal at Olive Garden? I can't imagine they're that good, so I'm gonna put them in D. Outback, I feel like is a little bit better than Longhorns for their fries. Also, I'm seeing Pizza Hut and that's that's a little bit disturbing to me to be honest. Who the hell is ordering fries at Pizza Hut? It, it's that's what I'm saying since when does Olive Garden have french fries? That's news to me. Outback it's only slightly in B tier, but I, I do like their seasoning on their fries. It's it's pretty good. Pizza Hut? I, I can't imagine this is good. Raisin Cane's? I hear so much about Raisin Cane's. Never tried it, because I don't even think there's one near me. But the, the Crinkle Fry is like an automatic minus one on the points. It's just not my preferred method of French fry consumption. This makes me realize how many chains I don't know. Am I truly American? Yeah, I kind of feel the same way. Although, it's mostly just because I haven't tried a lot of these. <laughs> I'm like, everyone seems to know or have tried every single one of these places. Red Robin. Ha haven't tried Red Robin either. They look, I don't know, they, they look fine. Shake Shack? I think I have tried their fries. I think I tried their, their fries and I had a burger from them when I was in Arizona at the airport. 
I don't remember exactly how I felt about it. I think I thought it was okay. So I'm going to put it in C. What does it say? Sugar fire. Honestly, this look, I, I, if you, if I squint, I could barely even make this out to be French fries. So I'm going to put this in trash just for presentation alone. Texas Roadhouse. Now, I've never had their fries, but I have had their steaks, and their steaks are incredible. So I, I only have to assume that their their fries would be just as good, right? I'm going to put it in B. It, it does look like pasta, actually. That burger joint never heard of you. Honestly, because you put the french fries on a cutting board, that's like an automatic minus... Five. Wendy's. Once again, it's been a long time since I've had Wendy's. Actually, that's not true. I had Wendy's in December or January. And I think it was okay. So I'm going to put you in C. Is this Whataburger? I've not tried Whataburger. The fries look pretty basic. So I'm going to go D. I have no idea what this is. Can't make out the logo at all. The French fries look okay. I'm going to put it in B because the French fries like have that like kind of char a little bit early. It looks crispy. I, I like that for my fries. Zaxby's. I absolutely hate Zaxby's French fries and just Zaxby's in general. Popeye's have not tried Popeye's. They look okay. I'll put them in C for like average. Jack in the Box once again have not tried, but it's the uh, curly fries. They don't look as good as the Arby's curly fries, so I got to put it in B. French fries from Chick Fil A are so good. That's the first god tier. Tearless are fun. I've been meaning to do some of these for a while now. Actually, I think this is. What is this called? Jolly Bee or something? This is like a Singaporean restaurant. I don't even know if this is in the U.S. They look like standard though, so I'm, I'm putting them there. Sonic fries, as far as I can remember, trash. McDonald's? Honestly, McDonald's fries are pretty good from what I remember. It's been a couple years. Del Taco? I, I've not tried their fries but, you know, same thing with Taco Bell. I can't imagine that they would make fries that are, like, any good. The mascot is cute. I, I will give them that. And then this last one, I have no idea what this is. I can barely even see the fries. They look like crinkle fries. So for that alone, I got I to gotta put them down here. So there, there's that. There's, <laughs> there's the French fry list based on looks alone, pretty much. Only a select few have actually been tried by me. I want to see what that, what's the community rank look like here. That's that's pretty much to be expected. Taco Bell's in God tier. Okay, interesting. I guess maybe I should try them. Trash Pizza Hut. Okay, that that makes sense. I wonder if a lot of these are just like people that haven't tried these. So you just put them in trash. Kind of like how I did it. <laughs> not that I disagree with any of these. Like I'm not, I'm not outraged by any of these choices in the trash tier. One restaurant that I wish was in there that I would have put in God tier is Taco Mac, which I believe is, is a Georgia based restaurant. It's like a sports grill kind of place. But their French fry seasoning is so good. It is just is my favorite. 